Hi, welcome to the part 9 of this playlist. We are looking at wavelength. Now, you must have seen applications, for example, connected vehicles. You know Elon Musk, they are talking Tesla, they are talking a lot about connected vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and so on. So, this is one use case where you can use wavelength, then you can use it in the media applications. For example, you have applications for BBC, CNN, Al Jazeera, and so on. So when you create these applications, you want very low latency and high performance. So you can use Wavelength. And last but not the least, consider gaming applications where you know you want very low latency, very high performance, so that there is no buffering, no wait time for the gamers. Gamers would find applications built using wavelength very useful okay so we just saw what are the use cases where wavelength is used but what is wavelength buddy before i tell you that please subscribe to my channel hit the like button very useful for me to understand the pulse of the audience so this is a infrastructure offering please i'm repeating again listen carefully this is a infrastructure offering that means that for example if you have ec2 or any services those are software offerings or platform offerings this one is an infrastructure offering that means it is going to the level of your availability zones so the data centers it's an infrastructure which is created and you can use that why you want to use you want low latency high performance and what does wavelength have like there are wavelength zones you you know that there are availability zones similar to that there are wavelength zones which has a special infrastructure it has some aws compute it has some storage services and it is tightly integrated with the net network service provider. For example, you, we are seeing Verizon and it is having a coverage across all of these US locations. All of these US locations, maybe Seattle, Atlanta, San Francisco. See, when we are talking about EC2 instances on Wavelength, so you all know that ec2 also has a ebs store that is elastic block store so wavelength it gives you this gp2 volumes for persistent block storage because this is how your applications which are deployed on ec2 will get low latency high performance now we spoke about use cases like gaming applications, autonomous and connected vehicles. So if you have these use cases, which type of EC2 instance is required to be supported? This one, you, you need a very good compute. Please focus again, you need very good compute for processing that data set so fast so fast but is wavelength only for that purpose no you also have t3 medium large extra large 2x instances for other purposes where you just need some compute but if you need gpu level compute for your application like gaming and so on then you should use GPU instances. But using Wavelength, what are the services supported? So EC2 is something which we spoke about, EBS we spoke about, but you can have VPCs and auto scaling. You can have like Kubernetes services clusters, ECS container service clusters, all are supported using the Wavelength infrastructure. Well, whenever we talk about applications, the monitoring and the management of these applications goes hand in hand. So you need to have something like a cloud watch, you need to have something like a cloud trail, a systems manager, a load balancer. But 
you also have requirements for infrastructure as a whole and that's the reason they have provisioned cloud formation you can use this to create your infrastructure as a code this is available very important from exam certification perspective not only not only not only saac03 but also sap c01 and c02 and to some extent uh, it will also help you with your data analytics certifications so needless to say hit the subscribe channel because this will help you stay tuned to the latest progress we are seeing in the cloud world how we can deploy applications in the cloud world how we can make it highly performant so that we can use this for some real time use cases so this is a bit of a, a diagram here you can create vpcs to include your wavelength zones and then you can use the services so these will reside on aws region just like your availability zones and then the application traffic can reach the application servers running on wavelength zones so you know in the cloud world we have like aws regions we have aws availability zones similar to availability zones you have you have what you have wavelength zones and these zones are basically infrastructure designed for high performance how 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 5g whenever you think about wavelength think about 5g does it not use your home internet no boss this is designed designed for 5g applications when you are on 5g you don't go on 5g if you have a grandfather style application you go on 5g for impatient people you go on 5g if you have gamers who are impatient they do not have the patience for high latency they want low latency high performance 5g so so does wavelength not use internet services yes boss it does not use yes madam it does not use it does not leave the 5g communication network and that is the reason it is faster why because there is no need to do multiple network hops if you want to go from la to san francisco why would you go to new york in between so there, there is no need for a hop and that is why we were talking about these 5G service providers like Bell, Verizon, and so on. One key thing that is important from a certification standpoint is there is something called career carrier gateway, not career gateway. It allows your inbound traffic from a CSP provider network in a particular location and outbound traffic to the telecommunications network to the 5g network of verizon or bell and so on so this is an important component it's very important so now this one is very important from a concept perspective this is particularly designed for 5g networks okay so you do not leave the network you do not leave the telecommunications network and that's why it is very good for mobile edge computing applications now who are the clients who use this this is an example from aws who uses this i let you know buddy but please subscribe to this channel harman it's a samsung company they use it to develop connected vehicle experiences sportable it brings real time insights to rugby games this this company uses it and third example is zixi it uses it's software-defined video platforms using Wavelength. So those are the clients who are using it and they use it because there is no multiple network hops. It is just like you board one single flight and you reach uh, New York from India without a stopover in Frankfurt or Abu Dhabi or Dubai. So these are the providers in Tokyo, specifically Asia Pacific, you have KDDI, who is their Verizon. 
you got SK South Korean Telecom in CO you got and then you have something like Vodafone which works in the Europe region in primary London and we had already covered Verizon for North America we got Bell for Canada hey you know what you have Canada covered you got US covered you got APAC Tokyo covered you got CO covered you got London covered around Europe what about India what about Africa what about South American countries so for the developing nations if you are feeling bad that there is nothing available here so do you think that your country are they looking for autonomous and connected vehicles does your country have great roads to for these vehicles to work automatically so what it boils down to is uh, first they are the developing or so the developed countries they are trying to take a dig at what use cases are there for for them to leverage and then slowly it will also extend to other developing countries but it doesn't matter we can still leverage those locations those wavelength locations and zones so this brings us to the end of this part please hit the subscribe and the like button we will see you in other parts please remember these topics are very important for saac03 sap c01 and c02 see you in the next part ciao